mantras okay om ajnana timirandasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshur militam vena ai shri gurave namaha nama om vishnu padaya krishna prasthaya bhutale श्रीमते भक्ति नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निदाता हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम राम हरे कृष्णा विल टू द हरे कृष्ण रामचंद्र Yeah, we'll do eleven times of chanting. Okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. thank you all for chanting hari krishna ma mantra it was so refreshing okay let's go to the verses that uh, 16 chapter 21st verse so last time who did not uh, get a chance to uh, recite yoshita uh, yeah first we'll go with yoshita yoshita you want to say वेरी गुड यस बलराम या बलराम गो एट आत्मना नाशन आत्मन काम क्रोधस्तोभ तस्मादेदेरी गुड 
krostata lobas daswat ejam brayam tajet very good nandini yeah. nandini yes yeah dividam narakase dam dwaram nasamam atmana kama krodas tatha lobas tasne etatrayam taje very good we'll just read the translation and yeah you can uh, recite the next verse okay uh, we'll just recite the translation and go ahead with the next verse there are three gates leading to there are three gates leading to this hell to this hell lust anger lust anger and greed and greed every sane man every sane man should give these up should give up for they lead to the for they lead to the degradation of the soul degradation of the soul degradation of the soul yeah so when you read uh, the verses try to uh, memorize the translation as well because the translation has lots of uh, you know important and um, meaning okay next one yeah ramachandra right uh, you can go ahead with the verse uh, text 24 तस्मात्सास्त्रं प्रमाणं ते कार्य कार्य व्यवस्थित नात्वा शास्त्र विधानोत्तम कर्म करतो एहारसि वेरी गुड बढ़िया ओके विल गिव वन मोर चांस टू अदर्स एंड देन विल कम टू टू योर इन ओके प्रतुल नंदी जी Pratmesh, Nandini. No, Pratmesh. Okay, we'll go with Prat Pratmesh first. Tasma Shastram Pramanam Te Karya Karya Vivastyu Natva Shastra Vidhanoktam Karma Kartom Eharasi. Okay, and uh, we can Akshita. Okay, Akshita used uh, said twenty first was also right. Yeah. Yeah. Who is that? Nandi. Arav. Yeah, you can go ahead. I'm just trying to give to others. Very good. Yeah. Now uh, two more people. Uh, Nandi. Nandi. Okay. Yeah, Nandini and then Shreyas. That's it, and then we can go to the transcript. Tasma chatram pranam te karya karya vavastito nast sastra vidano kam karma karya. Very good. And Shreyas. Tasma chatram pramanam te karya karya vavastito nyatva sastra vidano kam. karma kar tum me harasi oh, okay yeah we'll go to the translation and then um, uh, to the next part of the session one should understand one should understand what is duty what is duty and what is not duty and what is and what is not duty by the regulations of the scriptures by the, by the regulations of the scriptures knowing such rules and regulations knowing such rules and regulations one should act one should act so that he may gradually be elevated very good okay now it's question and answers time so what bakasura represents Very good. Yes, duplicity and false behavior. What agastra represents? Ego, false behavior. Oh no, not false behavior. Yeah. Yeah, cruelty to others, violence, and causing trouble for others. Forty. Uh, what vyamasra represents? Vyamasra. Dishonesty. Dishonesty. Uh huh. One more. 
Cheaters. Ah, cheaters. Yes. Thieves and cheaters. That's the main main thing. Okay. And what K C demon represents? Proud. The K C demon represents pride, proud, 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 proud,
the fire is being transferred from one tree to other tree. So the trees are, you know, the fire is like very much uh, you know, passing through one tree to other tree, uh, like exponentially. Then all of a sudden, even uh, Krishna and his friends, covered boys and cows, all are into this fire. So they got entangled in that. And all boys were like crying. They were crying, saying that, please, dear Krishna and Balram, we are burning from the heat of this blazing fire. Let us take shelter of your lotus feet. We are your dear friends. Please protect us. So when they said that, immediately Krishna knew that, okay, there is no need to worry because I am there, you know, with covered boys and the calves. No, nothing will happen to them. But still, like, you know, they were like pleading uh, to Krishna and Balram saying that, please help us. We can just take shelter, uh, um, no, of your lotus feet. Nothing we can do. Please protect us. And as soon as he said that, Krishna, he said that, please, you know, lie on the ground and close your eyes. Don't be afraid. Because they can't see, you know, taking that uh, big fire into his mouth, right? Because they think that oh, something, you know, the, the rapport will be between the covered boys and um, himself will be gone. So like that, that's why Krishna told, okay, just, you know, keep, uh, you know, uh, sleep and then close your eyes. And then uh, when you open your eyes, uh, everything will be all right. So like that they have done. And Krishna, what he has done, he has just gulped all the fire into his mouth and just drank it. So like water will drink, right? Like that, he just drank the whole fire. And as soon as when uh, Krishna um, told that, okay, you know, fire is gone, you can just open your eyes. Then they opened their eyes and saw that nothing is there. Like as it as normal, the whole fire is gone and everything, all the trees are like subsided now. Uh, uh, everything went to the normal. So the boys were secretly thinking that, oh, Krishna must not be an ordinary boy. He was just an... They have just concluded that he was a demigod. So like that they have concluded. But after that, what happened? After saving the from the fire demon, they again they came into their own boy's nature, um, you know, like playing together and jumping and, uh, you know, uh, running around and kind of. And then they took the calves and all the animals and uh, Krishna was playing flute and they all followed him um, to the houses, to, to their respective houses. So that was the story of um, fire demon. Now we will see what the fire demon represents actually. Okay. Hatred and arguments. Okay. Because wherever the hate, wherever the hatred is there, or arguments are taking place, what we'll see, there is lots of, um, you know, uh, heat being generated among the devotee, among the two persons, or You'll feel that heat, you know, generated in your own heart. You'll not be able to sleep properly. You'll not be able to eat properly. You'll not be able to do your sadhana properly. Anything, you're not able to do anything. Like you'll be just thinking on, thinking on the same argument or same person where you hate that particular person. So that is a, um, that's why these fire demand is represented as hatred and arguments. Or it, it is also some part of disrespecting other religion. So even that is considered to be the um, uh, fire demon you um, um, know, form. So how we'll see in detail like how each one is disrupting our devotional service and how we need to be protecting ourselves from them. That is very important. Like how we need to protect from these these. Uh, you know, the important disqualifications of our, um, of the, uh, you know, a devotion service, okay? So, hatred. Hatred usually comes from what? Envy. So, what is the dictionary meaning of envy? The dictionary meaning of envy is desire to have a quality, possession, or other desirable attribute belonging to someone else. It's not ours, it's someone else. So, Whenever someone, if you, if a person is there and he has all the fame, all the, uh, you know, wealth and uh, qualities and kind of, then we will be like, you know, 
oh can i be like that i really wanted to be like that and the small, small jealousy starts in our heart it's it's maybe it's not just jealousy i can say but first the thing is like i want to be like that i want all the position all the fame all the qualities whatever he has if i have then it would be so good like you know i can be um i will be also everyone respects me i will be also very um, you know well known in the society in my school or something kind of it desire desire comes that's also greedy man yeah that's all greedy man like you want all of them yeah so when that comes up what happens slowly the jealousy towards that person starts why the jealousy comes towards that person because whatever you do the activities you are just thinking of him like oh he has that quality right so if i do my homework in this manner then maybe i'll get the fame from the you know in front of the whole class and maybe i'll be more popular than this boy you know but i have a question yeah sure tell me well it's not much of a question more of a comment mm mm-hmm. mhm So like oh, there was this some milk made the who saw some a uh, great personality and she thought that if I sell more milk I'll get these hair get I'll get to buy these eggs I'll grow the eggs and I'll make chicken and oh. I'll sell the chicken the for goats so, and and the we i will learn raise the goat so it can have children i'll mm. sell goat and its children to get cows the, mm. and the cows will learn make the, a big the calf and then mm. I'll send the ca- sell the calves and then i'll learn, get a, a kingdom that's mm. what Yeah, it's like a church. The of what milk? Ah, milk. see, it's like greediness, like getting everything, everything, just daydreaming, and then last, what happens? It just milk is like all still on the ground and nothing is left. Yes, very good, very good comment. Thank you for sharing. So we'll go. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Why did Krishna even create demons? Krishna did not create. I mean, like you see, what happens is it's all about our free will, right? Demons are in the form of we are reading, right? So demons are real, but demons when they come, they have our bad qualities also. They have these qualities, right? So they are in our free will. Like we wanted to. Like Krishna says that okay, don't go leaving me from the Vaikuntha. to the material world we said no no we want to enjoy we want to be the controller so i'll just go bye 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 i don't want to come back um until i enjoy fully don't uh, call me and then we don't listen to him and then come back come to the material world and say that okay now it's time to enjoy so i'll just go and enjoy and uh, uh, enjoy means what we'll do we are just back of money we are back of uh, you know the position fame and everything so we'll do my cycles of birth and death and on one day because of your association and devotees we'll realize that oh no this is not it we have to go back to krishna and we just go back to krishna now coming to the real krishna demons so see krishna it's like you know the past times of um, the melodious uh, you know the past time between the covered boys and the uh, krishna so they all go and play and you know steal the butter and they do all their activities and everything but whenever the demon comes like you know demon comes they what they do where they take the shelter that is also important right they take shelter in krishna's feet only they said that we just surrender we just saw that message right they they just surrendered into krishna like okay we can't do i can't do anything with the fire i have to just surrender so that kind of an you know surrender ship is also a part of rasa like he ex- krishna experiences with their um, you know or uh, uh, feelings so that's why he creates the demons and demons come and they start you know the covered boys get um, you know they got scared and they'll take shelter of krishna 
and then ultimately krishna with just in second like in a click he just destroys all the demons and everyone will be clapping krishna and all of a sudden they will be uh, friends with krishna again like that but what we have to take is we should be like you know the demons are in the form of in our own heart so we should be calling out to krishna saying that please make them you know go i don't want these demons i wanted to take shelter of you whenever you, you have this kind of a little jealousy towards others also you need to quickly identify these kinds of demons and quickly take the shelter of krishna when you do that everything is gone so that's why he has you know all this okay did did it answer your question okay um yeah so we'll move forward uh where we are yeah hatred results from thinking we are the body so why hatred comes because we think that we are the body so that's why we have to enjoy the sense uh, objects and then uh, we need all the fame and everything to be the supreme controllers Hi, that's why all this. yeah this is what you also just joined Hare Krishna Shtosh yeah so when um, um this jealousy comes that can be transformed into hatred within a uh, less time because when the jealousy comes right so we think that okay this person i'm so jealous i really want this person and as as you go on you will be seeing that oh th- hatred is nothing but you know you just uh hate that person in order to all these his qualities and everything so you compare with him okay you are able to not able to get uh, first in the class so i really hate this person like uh, um, you know he should, i should be more more uh, so stronger than him like that so when we want to feel that we are better than the other person we look for all kinds of false reasons to dislike others so you, you'll be saying that okay this person maybe he has the uh, you know help from his mom or from his other person that's why he is able to do it properly in the homework but i am not able to do it because i don't have these uh, so and so list so that's why i am not able to do it better so you wanted to just pick on faults on others he was success because he did this otherwise he would have i would i could have uh, easily succeeded like that and um, this also feeling stems from our material desire of wanting to be the lord or the supreme that means that we want to be the controller we want to be having the same uh, all the um, um fame so we forget that we are souls and we forget that others are also souls if we are remembering that we are all equal spirit souls and that we are all part of krishna we won't hate anyone if we love krishna we will love all of his creations this last sentence is important like see if krishna we love krishna right we always love all of his creations so that is that is also uh, we need to uh, see that all are krishna's show part and parcels of his soul mata ji i have another comment yeah like if you keep if you keep for say it's like some kid built a robot mhm and he and he programmed the robot to do whatever uh, he wants like give his like um like make his brain like a person's brain mm-hmm. he made he programmed the robot's ba- brain like a person's brain and then uh-huh. he uh, and then he is uh, making some other robot he is finished but the pain has to dry so he so the first robot the, he thinks he this kid painted this other robot he did not paint me he yeah, and he and then that other robot just wrecked that a robot which the boy was the which boy was making okay i lost somehow somewhere in the robot some robot 
is painting the other robot. I think I lost uh, in that, but we'll come back again because we need to, um, you know, complete. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. And now yeah. we'll come to the oh, false ego. The robot. Yeah, the yeah. Robot. We'll we'll come back. False ego. So what? Ego is nothing but it's ourself. Like, you know, we have, uh, ego will always travel, right? That's what we learned in the Bhagavad Gita. So it's like our, ourselves. And ego is who we are. So false ego means, that means that just take the opposite. Who we are and the false of is who we are not. So it's just a, um, it tries to believe as well, saying that it is something which is not true, right? So, here it says, false ego is always trying to tell us that we are this body and life is meant for our enjoyment, which is not true, right? Spiritually, we say that this is we are not this body, but it says that we are this body, false ego. That's the main thing, like false ego always goes. That's why we should be very, uh, you know, um, uh, very, uh, you know, we should be careful about the false ego, what it is trying to make us think, the mind. So we should always use our intelligence and association towards, you know, uh, whenever you have questions, you need to reach out to devotees and say, what I have to do in this case? Do I need to listen to my false ego or I need to just go with Krishna uh, or, you know, the teachings of Krishna? That's how we need to, uh, you know, ask for them, help. So. For example, false ego makes us to think and believe that our ideas are the best and that we are the most wonderful person in the world. It is called false ego because it leads us to believe something that is not true. Okay? And our real ego, what it does, it always says that remembering, like you know, it always reminds us saying that we are spirit souls meant to serve Krishna and we are the servant of the God. We will always act in a way to please Krishna. With false ego, there could be many arguments and lot of fighting, right? If we say that we should be, we have the best, we have the best ideas in a team, if one person says that, person A, for example, he says that, ah, I have the best idea in order to resolve this issue. So we can solve this problem by following my own thing. And the person C, person B also says in the same, the same team that, no, no, no. My idea is the best. So, you follow this method and you will be able to solve the, uh, you know, task easily. Then what will happen? So, A and B, they start fighting among each other, saying that, no, uh, you know, it's like an argument. Mine, 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 everything. So, what happens? The whole team gets into destruction. Like, you know, no one will solve the problem because naturally the other team member, whoever has, not having this false ego, they will be solving it unanimously by having only one solution. Whereas these two people, they are still fighting without a proper solution to the problem. So like that, they lead to the fighting. Uh, the false ego leads to the fighting, which we should be very um, uh, uh, careful about. And now fighting and arguing. Whenever you, I just said, right, like, for example, it is better to lose an argument than to lose a friend. This is really very, very important. And I made this statement in the world. I just wanted to read this whole statement. One of the qualities of a devotee is that he is a friend to all. True friends want the best of for each other. The best friendly action we can show is to direct someone to Krishna. By putting aside our personal feelings of jealousy, hatred, and disagreement, and by helping each other serve Krishna, <laughs> we show ourselves as true friends. We can cooperate to please Krishna. This attitude is very much appreciated by Krishna. Why I am saying that this is important is because, for example, if a devotee, for example, you have your devotee, you know, friends, you have some service, whenever the service is given to you a common service, you should not fight with among yourself saying that if I if I follow these particular one, two, three steps, we will be achieving the service 
whatever is given to us in a very proper way and the person b the devotee is two will say that no if you follow this one and two method that's enough you will be able to uh, do the service very nicely it's all about service it's all about krishna but you both are fighting only you know in an argument between uh, arguing between the services one or two what i need to follow so like that if that becomes like you know that comes in the form of uh, that i am the best so i can know more uh, than the other person if that happens that means that is nothing but it's coming out of false ego and it will be end in ended in arguing and fighting which is not at all pleasing to krishna krishna always sees that cooperation that's why shila prabhupad always says that cooperation is very important cooperate with each other cooperate you know uh, if you are doing a single service like you know uh, by together just make sure that with that service whatever we are um, serving krishna with uh, whatever we are doing krishna should be pleased that's the main goal okay so we are not so concerned with defending ourselves see sticks and stones may break my bones right but names will never hurt me if someone insults us or calls us names it is really not so important we are not the body we are the spirit soul maybe if you feel bad also you, you should just take it light because that doesn't i mean if they say something it doesn't mean that we are that right because you we know in our hearts that what we are and krishna knows that we are we didn't do any mistake so that's all if you if you are really disturbed talk to a person talk to that particular person who has already calling you with the names or you know sit nicely and then resolve the issues but never never you know uh, argue and then make the you know circumstance in a very bad way okay the interest they are held keeping on us are only directed at our body they have nothing to do with the real us the soul so we try to remain very tolerant but if we see a devotee of krishna being offended we will stick up to him we do not want to see the lord's devotees being insulted so that is the third part if we can you know take all the bullets but if we are trying to hit the uh, with uh, you know others are hitting the other devotees we will stand in their way saying that no you cannot do, do that because he is a devotee of krishna so that's all and the next part of this uh, jagan madhe will be covering in the next Ali, class i yeah i, I have, want to yeah. i have a comment so that's like dubasa muni he uh, he offended ambarish maharaj by uh. Uh, Ambarish Maharaj just broke his fast without the Vasamuni and that's why he was so angry. Yes, so see, th- that's why he was so angry. That's why when uh, uh, the Vasamuni reached uh, Vaikuntha and asked him, please, uh, you know, help me. What Vishnu says, go and ask Ambarish Maharaj whether he if he is okay then I, then my sudarshan chakra will retrieve otherwise no right yeah Shreyas. and yeah and yeah one more question um for for yeah. this uh, semester where is you know like the um, homework sheets homework sheets are given in each class like you know if, for example most of these classes are like you know uh Um, uh, reflecting the anarthas in your own personal life so uh, okay. while at the end of the classes we are saying right please write down and everything so oh, yeah. those you can just take it and uh, depending on each uh, uh, teacher yeah and jagannath before i forget oh, it's already 8 o'clock right next class tomorrow you can share the um, you know uh, you what you have uh, got into the uh, ravana's dahana okay sorry okay. it's okay, already ma'am. late 8 o'clock okay thank you and we will end the class with 